Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this week's video, we're going to look at making three sounds from the massive hit from Daft Punk around the world. We're going to do them all on the Juno 106 and it sounds like this. So let's get into it. So the first one we're going to make is by far the biggest, the the, mo the sound that I love the most, and that is the bass. Now, when I first heard this, like way, way back, I definitely thought it was a real bass player. But then over the years, you kind of listen to it more and you realize that it most probably is a synth. And I think we can get pretty close with the Juno 106. I have some MIDI clips. So I'm going to play the MIDI clip as we make the sound. So hopefully you can kind of hear as the sound develops and I'll just, yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. So I've gone and zeroed out all of the, the synth now and let's start getting into it. So we can, for the first one, we're going to use a sawtooth. We're going to make sure we're down one octave. And then let's just get a little bit of an envelope and the filter open so we can kind of hear what's going on. So let's just give it a little decay and a little envelope and a little filter. So turn it down just a little bit. So you can hear that it, it sounds super farty and it's not really close to what we want. So as we come along, we're going to use a sawtooth. That's the only oscillator we're going to have. We're going to keep the filter as it is. Let's bring, let's bring the frequency of the, the filter down. Let's see. Maybe between three and four on the line. Now, you can hear in it, it does have that feel of kind of like a live bass. It has that sort of resonance sort of thing. So let's use the resonance. We're going to bring that up. So now we have like, it's kind of getting into like, dare I say it, like Mogi Model D sort of vibe there. Envelope, let's pull that down a little bit. Got that about halfway. Gonna keep the LFO and then the keyboard tracking down. The keyboard tracking, see so if I turn that up, it's gonna be lower. It's really muted down. So if we keep it uh, all the way off, we're gonna get a consistent uh, filter open and close throughout the whole thing. It's just not gonna, we're not gonna get, let me explain this a little bit better. I'm not, I'm not doing a good job of it. So with the keyboard tracking down, we play down here. Wait. And then if I keep in picture, you can hear the filter doesn't change. But then as I increase it up to full, you can hear it's more muted. And then up in the higher register. Ooh. Same, same. So by keeping it all the way down to zero, we're keeping the cutoff the same across all the notes. So then we're kind of giving more of a sort of a bass feel. So now that I've kind of fix that so we can keep going. VCA, let's kind of have it about, about three or four. Let's have the, and it sets the envelope. Put that decay, we got it about four. Sustain's gonna be all the way down and then give it a, a little release. Thank you. 
And then we're gonna get just a hair of the attack there. And if I take it off, I got some very basic drums. I think I would increase the filter just a little bit. And pull down the envelope a little bit. And you can hear I'm making super, super minute changes. A little bit less on the filter. Maybe a little bit less on the release. We'll hear it with the drums. I sat with it a little bit and I made some minor, minor more changes to it. I pulled down the release a little bit. I pulled down the decay just a little bit. Mess with the envelope frequency and resonance just a little bit. Probably even a little bit release, uh, resonance rather. I think that's pretty good there. So next up, we are gonna make that spacey lead that accompanies the bass throughout most of the track. So for this one, we are gonna go to the square wave. We'll take off the saw and we're gonna make sure that we're up one octave. Let's give it a little bit of decay and open the filter a little bit. So we got the general sound here. One thing to keep in mind is with the with the square saw, uh, sorry, the the square pulse width. If we set this to manual like it is, we can see. Want to make sure that we're at the bottom, so we got that nice full square wave, and we're not we're not uh, shortening it to give it more of a sort of a pulse feel. So let's kick it back on again. We'll come across, we're not gonna use any of the sub or the noise. Let's pull down the, the freaks so of the, the cutoff, so we're sort of between zero and five, so like two and a half in there. And because we want that sort of spacey feel with it, we're gonna increase the resonance. We're kinda gonna go maybe to like six. And we'll increase the envelope a little bit. You can already hear there, we're kind of getting in that ballpark. Now we do want the keyboard tracking on the filter, so you can hear it's giving us different sort of feel between the two. We'll come across, we're not gonna touch the VCA and the envelope. Let's pull that decay down a little bit. And I think that's pretty close. One thing you can hear on the the one in the track is it has a little delay, so I just turn the delay on. Now I'm just fine tuning, fine tuning everything so I think.
Let's move on to the next one. So for the last one, we're going to use, we're going to make the sound that's kind of towards the back end of it. And you can also hear kind of a similar sound in some other Daft Punk songs as well. And you, you'll hear once we start getting into it. So let's kick on. We're going to keep the range at eight. We're going to switch back to the sawtooth. And then again, I'm going to just open up the filter a little bit, bit of envelope and then just a bit of decay. Let's pull that filter down to kind of halfway. We're going to come across, we can utilize this uh, high pass filter here. Let's go probably to two, so you see, just taking out a bit of that low end. Again, we're going to put a nice healthy amount of resonance on there. And then we'll open that filter again. Envelope is going to come down a little bit. And we want that sort of raspy sort of sound. So. You can hear that it's kind of too muted. And there we have too much bite on it, so. Keep the LFO as it is, keyboard tracking. Just a little bit in there. We'll go to halfway. And then decay is gonna come down just a hair and then bring out the sustain and then just a little bit of the release and then to bring it all together we're going to incorporate the chorus you can hear that really spreads it out and if I stop the, the clip you can hear <laughs> the super noisy chorus going in the background. So let's keep that music going. And now again, just going over it all again and just fine tuning everything. Bring that, bring that release down just a little bit more. And evening out the decay and sustain a bit more. Maybe a, a little bit less sustain. Bring the keyboard tracking down a bit so we kind of level out how much that filter's opening over the keyboard. Too much going on when I take away the high pass. I like two still for that one. I think that's a little bit better. We just knock down that, that envelope amount just a little bit.
turn that chorus off. Super quick one today. I just thought it'd be cool to kind of delve back into some of the sounds that have made me get into music, like especially electronic music so much. And since I had the 106 and could kind of replicate all of them just on the one synth, I thought it'd be a good, good chance to sort of tick the box with that one. So at the end of the day, hopefully this has inspired you to, to kind of maybe get out your plugin and kind of try and replicate some of the sounds. But at the end of the day, hopefully this has inspired you to create something. Until next time, see you later.